Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk about how you can use a word cloud to make your point. Imagine you are the social media manager for The Playhouse, a fictional theater group that just opened a modern day adaptation of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. In addition to promoting the show on Facebook and Twitter, your responsibility includes monitoring online comments about The Playhouse's productions. After the opening weekend, you ask Spiderworks, a fictional data crawling service, to scrape any comments about the Playhouse's production of Romeo and Juliet from various online sources. Spiderworks provided you with a data file and you decide to make a sentiment analysis to identify which keywords frequently appeared in the online comments. Then you created a word cloud to display the results of your analysis. At the top of your diagram is the title. Spiderworks is the source of the data. The font size in the word cloud reflects the frequency of the keywords in the online comments. The more times a word appears, the larger the font size. Finally, you coded the keywords according to people's sentiment, being either positive in blue or a negative experience in red. With the word cloud in hand, now you're ready to write a three-part description and analysis of the online comments. In the beginning, your executive summary should identify the number of comments collected and the online platform surveyed in addition to any trends in the data that would be of interest to the senior management team at the Playhouse. For example, the opening weekend of the Playhouse's Romeo and Juliet generated 2,458 online comments on Facebook and Twitter. Overwhelmingly, people's sentiment was positive, yet some steps should be taken to ensure an optimal experience at the Playhouse. Now comes the numbers. People expressed strong feelings about the Playhouse's Romeo and Juliet, with very appearing 1,200 times, often in combination with other positive comments, such as good, great, enjoyable, and amazing. The modern adaptation of this classic Shakespearean play was also well received, with positive reviews for the storyline, the plot, the staging, as well as the leads and their performances. Opening weekend, however, was not without its challenges. Some people mentioned that slow service at the concession stands during the intermission created the need to rush back to their seats. Including the frequency of the different key words in people's online comments is essential to interpreting the word cloud, which leads you to your call to action. What does the Playhouse senior management team need to address going forward? If the opening weekend is any indication, the Playhouse can expect a long run for its modern-day adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. Slow concession services, however, has the potential of diminishing the opportunity to enjoy a refreshment while reflecting upon the first act and building anticipation of what is to come. Thus, it's imperative to ensure that people's positive sentiment encompasses their entire experience at the Playhouse. In summary, a word cloud is a very effective way to quickly identify key words that frequently occur within a dataset. Yet, less frequent words should not be ignored. In the case of the Playhouse, there was a miscommunication at the box office concerning a family's tickets, which led to a very anxious situation. The senior management team at the Playhouse certainly do not want people feeling this way moments before the opening curtain. Well, I guess it's time to take my seat. I don't want to miss out what the chorus has to say. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to discussing another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.